Hello everyone and welcome back to Technically Unsure, where I'm not really sure what I'm doing technically. Who was it? Him. So in this video, we are going to take a look very quickly uh, at uh, something that I saw on Amazon. It's basically this. It comes from a company called Waveshare and they claim to turn Raspberry Pi into a small mini portable computer which it already is obviously but it does have a aluminum case it adds more USB 3 ports and makes it more usable I guess I don't know what the word would be so let me show you what I'm talking about it is called the Pi 5 module box and I see that's aluminum there is PCIe to USB 3.2 Gen 1 board. Remember that in the in the Raspberry Pi 5, there is this here, right here, right? The, the PCIe lane where you can connect like the SATA hat or some other stuff. It uses that, but adds more USB 3.2 Gen 1 boards to it. And here are those ports that you can probably use. And here is the case and FPC cable and the actual box so the box doesn't come with any any instructions so i guess we are on our own or maybe they have it but it's on their website which i have to check so it comes like this apparently so this slides in and out from here and uh, looks like this and uh, yeah we'll see how we can put this all together so let me take these things out and i brought a brand new raspberry pi 5 for it so this is a Pi 5 connector adapter, it says. And uh, this looks like a power connection. And then there is the ground 5 volt, 5 volt. Two micro HDMIs are over here, turned into HDMI, full size HDMI. And a USB-C port and another USB-C port. Okay, so yeah, it basically also turns the Raspberry Pi's micro HDMI's into full size HDMI's which is again in order to turn your Raspberry Pi into a computer okay full size computer this is I guess I don't know why this one in particular is in a completely separate sealed box but yeah this is just the uh, that looks like an IO shield for here we'll see and then there is the rest of it so here is the other part which is the actual USB 3 Gen 2. Yeah, oh wow, here we go. Four USB 3 ports it will give you. And here is the FPC connector. So using this FPC connector, you turn the PCIe in, the, in this here, right here in the in Raspberry Pi into four USB 4s. Although, I don't know how, but what I'm seeing here are four individual so maybe okay so it's like this plus the raspberry pi's own uh yeah the raspberry pi also does have two so yeah that's also for the ethernet i guess so we'll see but yeah from what i can see there is no documentation on how to assemble it at least in the packaging if this works out this is going to be great because it's like 40 bucks so it's not much 80 bucks for the raspberry pi 8 gigabyte and 40 bucks for this Let's see if it turns into some sort of a very powerful computer with a lot of I.O. I guess. So let's see. Open up from here like savages. Take out the Raspberry Pi 5. So we have to find out where this one goes. Is it here? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. And then one to the back, which is probably right here and then that one goes on top okay and we have two of these and a bunch of screws so this is what i have to work with give me a couple of seconds uh, i will bring a screwdriver as well as i will check if there's any documentation or i'm really completely on my own okay let's go into fast forward mode and uh, let me try to figure this out so seems like we have to put these into like that yep this one right so we put it like this over here and yep like that so and then we take the silver screws yep these ones okay something like this i'm guessing don't copy me yet let me first uh, make sure i get everything to work 
so these two are same size and this says 5 volt 5 volt 2 red so this way connect that to the other side that's also 5 volt 5 volt so this way okay like that and we open this one up and open this one up just this way okay that's the fpc connection that's the power connection i guess we are good so far so these are the brackets for this i guess okay let's keep that there for now i don't need the bracket now so this button goes over here and in that tiny hole okay that right there okay we put the button this way i'm assuming yep this is going here okay let me take that out first let's put this over here yeah so let me see yep the button is working okay so that's how it is supposed to be put this over here okay okay let's put this back something like that okay the button is clicky that's working this is for here okay we got that all right and in the front side we are going to do something like this Ooh. okay i clipped my finger all right okay fast forward Okay, so this one goes into the UART with the ground in the middle like that like this way I guess yeah ground in the middle and in this one goes here okay also ground in the middle okay so green on the top side and in here green on the top side on both sides green facing this way okay in the back so this is front that's back green should be facing that way and the ground the black one in the middle green on the back side okay so far so good so far so good and then uh, I guess yep there you go that slipped right in there okay actually okay hold on actually actually not gonna close the yet because where's the cooling yeah where's the cooling so let me grab a cooler here you go i got my favorite active cooler for raspberry pi 5. take that out so we take this very carefully take it off okay like that and after putting it where it's supposed to be gonna... okay okay that was uh, relatively easy connect the fan all right that was it okay now that's more like it even though uh, I'm kind of sure everything's going to work fine, I'm not going to close it because that's a lot of screw, okay? So what I'm going to do is let's test this out as is, like this, okay? And uh, if everything really worked, then I will close it and then we test it out, okay? Give me a couple of seconds, let me connect everything to it. As you can see, I'm going to use a full-size HDMI and uh, we are going to connect the Ethernet and the usb 3 port on the raspberry pi okay finally the power okay here we can also see the power consumption for doing that i also have to prepare the sd card image so 
but we'll see the power consumption here everything is assembled we'll just have to close it up later and add the brackets which i'm going to do later i will be right back okay so we are back and here is what i did i assembled everything and i have to say if you were watching closely when i was assembling sorry i did this cable wrong so the text that says pcie cable whatever should face inside anyway uh, flip that around everything should be fine now and i'm going to use as you can see i have a uh, two full-size hdmi now okay and a usb c for power i have ethernet i have two two usb 3 and two usb 2s this, this is just a raspberry pi 5 and now i have three extra usb 3s over here which we are going to test which i'm going to test this side which is the board that they shipped it with okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to power this on okay there you go it boot it's booting and i brought out this so as you can see i placed a 980 pro inside this enclosure and uh, i am going to put this back okay and we are going to use this usb cable uh, to test the USB 3 and from what I can tell from their website they don't require you to install any sort of driver so it doesn't need any driver okay so let's do an LS USB there you go there are two USB 3 one two three USB 3 hubs okay so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm just going to plug this in there. I'm just gonna plug this in here, some random USB 3 port. And now let's do another LS USB. There you go. So let me make this bigger. Okay, so I see something new. Yes, there you go, RTL M.2 NVMe adapter. So this chip actually can deliver very fast speeds, like a gigabit speeds, a gigabyte speeds. I've seen test results that it is doing gigabyte transfer, okay? So based on that, let me open Gparted. Let's see if the disk is detected at all. Let's see. Oh, of course it is detected. There you go. Okay, so it is detected. Now let's do an HD Parm test on direct on dev SD. What was that? SDA. Yeah, let's do it. Of course, we need the sudo. Okay. Okay, so that was sucky. That is not what I was expecting. Uh, so that was slow. I was not expecting that at all. Let me see. Actually, you know what? I am going to make a partition. Okay, let me mount that actually. Okay, so we mounted it and uh, let's see. Let's do it again with HD form. Okay, so now that's more like it. Okay, so yeah, the cached reads is much fast, but buffer disk grids, that's like 32 megabytes per second. So it could be due to USB 3, it could be due to this, uh, this USB 3 adapter, but let me show you, LS USB, uh, when you Google this, when you search the chip that it is using, this, this, this device is using, okay, so if we search uh, speed, Okay, yeah, that, that's what I was checking out. So this is a similar device, not maybe not exactly the same device. Uh, yeah, it looks similar, but it is using, yeah, it's very similar. It is using the same chip, right? And look at the speed test results that they were getting. So gigabit speeds. Uh, and it, as you can see, random read write is 35. So that could be due to the, just uh, uh, the chip maybe, but yeah, the sequential is getting gigabit. That's also what we are getting very fast speeds. So it's uh, if we want to do as this guy is doing, let's do a, a real world test. So if we do a DD, DD, I F dev, uh, I guess zero to dev SDA one. Uh, actually, let's write it to the mounted location. Uh, which is USB disk output 
and uh, let's do binary size to be make count to be 48 let's see what we get and by the way power consumption goes up to 8 watts when we are using the USB hub and the disk okay so yeah it is this is what we are getting 76 megabytes per second that's the speed so i don't know if that's uh, again i i'm gonna assume that it is related to this there is a chance of that being uh, the reason for this low speed but overall what i have to say that the case and enclosure looks nice and works it gives me two hdmi full-size ports it gives me additional usb 3 ports so I think this is a great deal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put everything back together and close it so I can show you how this all looks like. Okay, so as you can see, this is how it all going to look like. It's very nice, very neat. You can place this inside the rack. There's uh, some handles over here on the right side and left side. USB, sorry, SD card is over there. You can power this board. I tried, I tried actually, but it keeps saying the Raspberry Pi keeps complaining there is not enough amp so it says uh, it doesn't supply 5 amp it requires this uh, 5 volt 5 amp adapters so whatever no matter what i did i have an adapter that can provide more it just kept complaining didn't want to bother so let me put everything back together what i'm gonna do is okay so what i did was i actually plugged one of these uh, ultra flare usb 3 devices 32 gig sand disk Okay, so let's also do the same speed test with this. Dev zero, test, not slash, just test the size to be one meg and the count to be 1024. Let's see how fast it can copy this. And the power consumption is seven on this one. It uses less than this adapter. So uh, I just wanna see the speed, so one more device, and then, then we'll wrap it up. So yeah, we are getting kind of similar results. So that's the speed. And uh, I believe it's kind of restricted to the USB device as well. But yes, overall, the case looks no nice, gives you three additional USB ports, and the speed is kind of okay, depending on the device you want to use it with. And uh, yeah, as I said, I was not able to power the whole Raspberry Pi with this as it kept complaining about the voltage. Sorry, amp, amp. So yeah. Oh, uh, let me know if you have any suggestions, ideas, uh, maybe a, a better test for the USB device. Uh, I, I didn't dig deep, but I just tried with two USB dis the flash disks that I had. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. This $40 case from Waveshare. I will try to put the link somewhere in, 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 in the video description. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.